anyway, here's my garden. I'm gonna try and show you how to grow your own tea for the most part. I have a few other things I like to grow just for fun or for other purposes, but mostly into tea. Uh, this is lemon balm here, and you can grow that from seed really easily. Let me focus there. And then, uh, as you can see, it, mine's really bushy. That's because I cut it every time that one of these starts to really take off. I snip it and then it'll give me four new leaves and then just from there it turns into just bush of tea herb. It smells really good too outside when it rains, fresh rain or after you water them. It puts off a lot of the oils. Um, so yeah, I got a bunch of chamomile just starting to come out, kinda. Let's see if I can... Just a little hint of green in there. So I got one lavender that made it out so far. <laughs> I usually don't have much luck with lavender for some reason. Um, basils are fun to grow. They're really anybody can grow it it looks kind of funky I kind of like the way the leaves look it smells really good when you cut it freshly trimmed and uh, it's really good for cooking and really just about anything in my opinion um, spearmint is excellent for tea or if you just break off a leaf it tastes just like gum and if you're good about making sure you don't spray down or if you get rid of your bugs somehow just make sure it's clean obviously but rainbow coleus is a good decorative and I'll be showing you updates of that stuff but mints are really good Italian basil and basils are actually part of the mint family but yeah they smell a little different obviously we got some peppermint here really badly damaged so I just cut back all the really cruddy looking stuff at the notch the little nodule and then it'll shoot out new kind of runners and it's really invasive actually but once you get it into a good enclosed uh, soil you're pretty good to go and you'll have really fresh tasty tea uh, Catnip is good for tea as well. I don't like to put it outside because we have a lot of cats around. And I don't really, I don't know, I got a dog and whatnot. I don't really like cats much. <laughs> so I just keep it inside. Um, lemon mint just starting to sprout up. Lemon mint's pretty good in tea. It's also good in cooking. Same with the lemon thyme. It's starting to try to grow. Um, the key with seeds is to keep them really moist. You see I've got one dry. That's because there's nothing planted in that. Um, but all the other ones are dark because I spray them. Don't, uh, I like to spray seeds also rather than, with a mister rather than soaking them. Just because it's less likely to unsow the seed. So I'll be keeping updates on that. Fly traps are doing pretty well. Keep them in humidity. And I fed some of them. Let's see if you can see that. I fed some of them dried mealworms. Some of them spat them back out, but they've been taking off. So I thought I would try a little experiment. I soaked, I cut one of the heads off and put soaked it in rooting hormone and so yeah, that's been doing really well actually that was about a week ago and it's still green and everything so I'm pretty sure it's gonna sprout some roots hopefully and uh, yeah I'll keep you updated